me, the experiences that I get here and sometimes the snippets of wisdom that come about in the oddest of ways are really one of the most gratifying aspects of, of this partnership here. When the folks tell us that we're helping them, they're telling us that we're helping them become better examples, better citizens, better family leaders and so forth, I'm good with that. My volunteers are good with that because they're gonna go forth and they know that they can come back to us, they can come back to John, and that support system is here in place to help them. The partnership and the, the effect that it's having is enormous. I think as a police officer, you know, we get trained to always be leery and to always um, expect the worst. But we also need to remember that people make mistakes and they can still become good. Um, and, and that we need to give them that chance. This badge is just metal that is in the form of a second chance. And through that badge, police officers really want people to realize that we're not trying to take chances away from people, we're actually trying to help develop chances. And we'll do it with you, literally walking side by side with you, if, if, if you'll give us the chance. One of the biggest things as far as being a leader is, is, is giving back service. And I saw this, I had the opportunity to actually give my service back to ex-felons, you know, and actually join up and being friends, family, you know, community with them is something I wanted to jump on. I grew up in the inner city. Um, a lot of guys I grew up with end up going in the path as far as going to prison, going to jail and different things like that. You know, that came from the situation they came from and made the different decisions that I made. It, it was just in my heart to come back and give it back to these guys right here. So that's one of the reasons why I'm here right now. It's about our community. We can't rest our way out this problem. This is a problem that affects all of us, all of us in the Valley community here. It's not just the prisoners' problem. When the prisoners get out, they're already behind the curve. They need people like ourselves to support them. I have three brothers that have never seen me um, or never talked to me since I've been a police officer in over 22 years. Uh, they are all ex-offenders. Ex in a way, these ex-offenders have became my brothers. That's how I release my love and my energy is giving back to them. There's a lot of people that are referring to us friends now. They're actually doing some of our community events. You know, people are coming up to us with their kids and saying, hey, go say hi to them. You know, hey, th we met these officers, they're your friends. You know, go say hi. When and before, when we go to some of these communities, there was children who were actually running and saying, hey, the cops are coming, the cops are coming, and they were all running to hide. You know, so it's changing the way that the community is actually looking at us, which I think it's partial to this, uh, to this program. Seeing those guys get jobs, and girls come in here all happy and on Tuesday nights when they're feeling down and depressed and feeling like you know the world is not still treating them right we're here to help rebound them that hey we're here for you we're all family we're all family in this world and the quicker we understand that the less you know nonsense we would have. I'm very grateful for the program and the opportunity that it's allowed uh, you know in our role, we don't always get the opportunity to be on the other side of the coin. We have a job to do, a duty to do as an officer, and being able to have this community outreach and work with John Ponder, it's a great opportunity, and we just, it's been a lot of fun. The partnership between the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and Hope for Prisoners is now over a year old, and during that time, there has been a lot of mutual growth and evolution on, on both sides of the equation. Because I have to give credit to the volunteer officers that work with me. Uh, realistically speaking, they do a lot of the work here and if it were not their willingness to come in and share their life's experiences, um, sometimes very painful ones, this program and this partnership would not be anything near what it is today. And a public thanks to my administration for their support and allowing us to continue forth on our mission here.